Hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. A lot of times I always get the same question, how do you edit your videos? And today I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. If you wanna start a YouTube channel or just get into editing, this tutorial is perfect for you. And by the end of this video, you'll know all my tips and tricks to editing on iMovie. So without further ado, grab your computers and let's edit. So the only thing you'll need to edit is a device and preferably an Apple device. And even if you don't have iMovie, these tips will work for other editing platforms. Currently I do use Final Cut Pro, which is a more advanced version of iMovie, but Final Cut Pro is super expensive. But if you're a beginner at editing, I definitely recommend using iMovie. The first thing I do when I edit is rough cut. Rough cutting pretty much creates the base of your video, and rough cutting is probably the most important step of editing. This takes out any breaths or stutters you have, and I like to stutter a lot. So rough cutting is really important to me because sometimes I'll be like, hey guys, it's- That was not it. <laughs> what are you doing? And then I'll finally get it, and I just want to keep the one that I got. You also want to keep your audience engaged and not have too many breaths in your video. So you don't want to be like, Hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. It's easy just to be, hey guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. And just get rid of that breath you have before it. To rough cut on my MacBook Pro, I used Command B. On a normal iPhone, there is a split button. And if you're not sure what button is split on your computer, make sure just to search it up on Google. The second thing I do when I edit is Final Cuts. This pretty much includes all the fancy effects I add to my videos. One of my favorite things to do is add text, and all you have to do is hit the text button and select what type of text you want. I'm pretty sure there isn't just a plain basic title on iMovie like there is on Final Cut Pro, but if you do just want straight text with whatever font you want, you can go onto Fonto, which is an app on your phone, then create a green screen, add which text you want, and import that into your video as a green screen. To get your green screen, you're gonna put the green screen on top of your original video and select green slash blue screen. So my favorite fonts to use are Rock Brush, Soap, and Hell with Tail Bold Oblique. Another effect I like to add to my videos is Picture in Picture. Picture in Picture is how I get random photos like this onto my videos. All you're gonna do is add the picture you want on top of your original video, and then by the options, you're gonna select Picture in Picture. I love using Picture in Picture because it gives your viewers a nice visual. Two more features I love to use in my Final Cut process is Cropping Ken Burns. Cropping looks like this where I zoom in my video a little bit, and it kind of just adds that dramatic touch. And Ken Burns is when it gradually zooms in to where I want it to be. To crop, you're gonna select this crop button and then you're gonna hit crop to fill. You're gonna select the size you want and then you're gonna hit done. And then you'll have a cropped video. For Ken Burns, you're gonna follow the same steps you did to crop, but select the Ken Burns button. And you're gonna choose where you want the video to start and where you want the video to end. So you can start it from far to close or you can start it from close to far. But these final cuts are so important to your video and they just make it special. Also, sometimes you may see me use different types of overlays. And these you can just go into YouTube and type vintage overlay or whatever you want. And you're just gonna put it above your video. Once my video has the rough cuts and final cuts in it, I add my intro. And you can pretty much do whatever you want in the beginning of your video, but this is how I do it. And before my actual text wavy aesthetic intro, I do add clips from the video. All you wanna do is copy and paste some of the most exciting clips from your video to the front of your video. And I actually use the typewriter text effect on Final Cut Pro to get this gradually appearing text. But if you do want this cool wavy text green screen, which is kind of an alternative, but you can use iMovie for it, you're gonna to wanna to begin by creating a green screen with text in Fonto. Then you're gonna download the app Megaphoto and upload it there. Then I like to select the effect 309 and adjust the speed according to how I like it. Then you can just screen record, crop, and add it to your video as a green screen. And that just gives a fun wavy text layer that you don't have to use Final Cut Pro for. And if you'd like to see it, I did do it for my summer morning routine intro. And that will also be linked in my description. To create my little wavy text starry aesthetic screen, I followed this one tutorial on YouTube by Jordan Raphael. And I'll also have it linked in my description if you want to see it. I followed that tutorial and it took me about an hour to do. But I really love my intro and there are so many different ways you can create an intro. And I also know that YouTube has different ones you can download and add your own text to. 
the last thing I add to my video is music. And for YouTube, you can't have any copyright music. So one of my favorite sites to use is Thematic. All you have to do is go through songs and select the ones you like. Then you're gonna download them. And in iMovie, you're gonna select the audio tab, select the music tab, and then you'll have all your thematic downloads right there. You're gonna select the one you want and drag it below your video. And Thematic has so much music you can choose from to add to your videos. And if you ever have a hard time finding music on Thematic you like, and there's any thematic songs in my videos that you like, I have them linked in my description. And if you select the link, it'll take you to that song. But to use thematic songs, you have to link them in your description and they'll just give you a link to use. Last but not least, the last thing I do is watch over the entire video and you're just gonna wanna make sure you don't have anything you forgot to edit or any extra clips or sometimes you have typos in text and you just wanna make sure none of that's in your video. And once you're done, you have created a beautiful video and to save that video onto your device, you're gonna click the share button at the top of iMovie and you're gonna hit export file and you're gonna wanna choose the lowest resolution because if you film on most cameras or phones, that is the resolution you're filming in and this will help your video upload to YouTube faster. So I like to choose 540 frames per second, but you can still leave the quality as high and compress as faster. But thank you for watching me show you how to edit on iMovie. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you like this video. Also comment down below what other questions you have about editing on iMovie and if you'd like to see a part two of this video showing more tips. Make sure you go follow my Instagram and TikTok at Nicole's Creations to see a tutorial of what I'm wearing right now. See you next time, bye.